All right, guys. So here we are with the non-F Productions upgrade kit for Studio Series Grimlock. Now I know you can't can't see it. Uh, maybe you should have the camera like this. Maybe. Here we go. Let's move all this stuff. There we go. So I already cut all the stuff off the sprues, which was a good thing. I didn't do that on camera because that was very stressful and I guess I need to clean this has a little bit of as you can see focus has a little bit of flash stuff right there what's that on my finger probably some plastic let me just fix that off camera just a little bit should be there we go okay not too bad of a job focus there we go that's a little better okay what about this one this one's okay is a tiny bit okay excuse me well it, there we go okay should be fine should be fine i think that part's hidden anyways so here is all the stuff now i did off and i should have organized this so we have our two uh arm guard things here these are for this sword you get the choice of either where are they all i can't see because my camera or my phone is in the way Okay, so there we go. Get these. All right, I think this is everything. Where did it go? Over here. So, ooh, almost tipped over the camera. Maybe we should straighten out these legs a little bit. There we go. Okay, so you have the option of either uh, sword with the black hilt and orange blade, or just an all red sword, or you can buy them separately. So I opted to get the black and orange sword with my kit and then I bought a red sword separately just because I wanted to experiment a little bit and see what they were like. You also get the arm guards and you also get a chest piece. I opted for the totally clear chest piece. Uh, hopefully, yeah, there we go. Uh, there is a slightly tinted one, but I figured, you know, if we're aiming for cartoon accuracy. Let's go for the totally clear one. And you also get Grimlock's uh, crown. Oh, it is different. Okay. So this is the front with the peak in the middle. And I guess this is the back with the peak in the back, the two peaks in the back. I guess you could reverse it. I don't see any... Well, there's these little indents here. So maybe you can't reverse it. Never mind. So you also get, uh, these are the two little teeth replacement things because Grimlock is missing teeth in his dino mode. This is the bottom piece, if it'll focus. And I guess this little circle here is where you're supposed to put this glue dot because it doesn't actually attach any other way. So there's that and there is, this is the, these are the top teeth, and these will hook over the uh, screw hole thingy. So I think that's everything. Now, I don't want to put all this stuff, well, I just want to show the different options you have. So this is, this is the orange one, because I haven't fitted any of these yet, and from what I've seen, they are tough to get together. Okay. So that's the orange one with the black blade. And if I can unpeg this, hopefully. There we go, okay, that wasn't too bad. We'll take a look and see what the, uh, should go this way. The black, black and red, there we go. Black and red, not too bad. I'm now thinking that I should have bought a couple extra of these and then I could just have one of each. I could have the black and red and the orange and red and then how they, you know, normally are. Apparently this is supposed to be, this is supposed to be the toy accurate colors and this is the more cartoon accurate colors. So let's take a look at the other way. So if we put Maybe I need to see the holes in order to line them up. 
Uh, so that goes there. So that's the all red blade. And then you can unpeg. Uh, okay, we already did that. Come on, let's do, come here. And we'll do the, oh, went off screen. Of course, the second I look off the camera, I take it off the screen. But yeah, see, this is not a bad combo either. This is not bad. But I think I will end up going with the more accurate black and orange. So let's put that together this way, this way. And so we just, just we can line up the holes. That should go like that, right? Yes, I think there is, is there. Yeah, there is like a little cutout in the blade for this piece. And we'll take this piece here. And those should just sandwich together nicely. Hopefully. Okay, I'm on. Hold on one second. All right, <laughs> okay, we're back. I managed to get it together. Please focus, there we go. I managed to get, the, come on. I managed to get it together. Uh, it's just that one of the holes here and it's still, still a little loose, not quite perfectly together. But yeah, one of the little holes was a bit too tight and uh, required some extra force. That is what she said. <laughs> so yeah, there's that. That's the one sword. Oh yeah, so let's let's see how Grimlock looks with that sword. If we can there we go. Stable here. And just simply squeak and fit that into his hand. It is a little tight, but there we go. There's Grimlock with his sword and his gun. There we go, all weaponed up. Hopefully I don't have to shave the peg on this or something. But yeah, okay. Now, will the other sword be in equal pain? Let's see. Uh, so this will go this way. Why is there like a little bit of Black there. That's okay. There we go. Uh, so that should go there. Now it was, let me put these two together because this was, it was this bottom hole. That was the one that was being a pain. Now wait, this should go like this, right? Yeah, there we go. So this one was the one that wasn't wanting to go in all the way. And my squeeze is really hard. Now, see, you can see. Right there, there's a little bit of gap, a little bit of a gap. But if we just push on the desk, maybe. All right, let's see if that'll fit together properly. Okay, there we go. Snap there. And up top here, maybe. And we still have a little bit of a gap. Let's try. Okay, so that's better. A little less of a gap. Not perfectly closed, but I'll have to work on that later. So then, if we bring the camera back up, see Grimlock, straighten out the leg so it doesn't fall over. Come on, let me get a Shot a Grimlock here. Okay, that'll have to do. We could take his toy, his sword. And again, this one is really tight. Doesn't want to go all the way in, but it does give you a good enough idea of Grimlock with his red sword. So that's his toy sword. Well, not toy sword, but it is his toy sword, if you know what I mean. All right, so back down to this view. So, next we have 
Uh, <laughs> it was crown. I could have done that earlier. Uh, let's do let's do the covers, I guess. So hoist and back up here. I'll just leave them kind of like this. There we go. That should be okay like that. And level out the camera. There we go. All right. Now we need to take. It keeps squeaking. Everything's squeaking. All right. So what we do? What we take is. Oh, don't want to unpeg the chest just yet. Take his arm. You guys can't even see. But we take his arm like that. We push this stuff out of its way. And now we need need I think it's this part. Right? Because that goes over there like that. So we need to unscrew this screw. Ever so carefully because we don't want to strip it. Do I have a larger one? I do have a larger one. Okay, this one's going to come out for me. There we go. Okay. So we keep that screw. I'll switch the. This one a better fit. That one seemed to be a better fit. Okay, I'll use that one. And then we take the cover and let's see, we put the screw in through the cover and then just line it up where it's supposed to go. And then just screw it back in best we can. You want it apparently a little bit tight, just enough that it'll hold. So I think that's good. Maybe a tiny bit more. There we go. So there we go. Now he has arm covers. They are a little bit off. They don't exactly match the gray, but there we go. Now it covers, our, covers up those little gaps. And if we do the same on this side, where you can see what we see over here. And if you don't step on your sword, Grimlock, please. Um, where is there? There's the other cover. Okay. So let's see if we can do. No, I can't. I can't can't do that with the other hand so we're gonna come at it from this angle and let's see ready title lefty Lucy lefty Lucy there we go left lefty Lucy. am I not doing this right lefty Lucy there we go okay just need a tiny bit more force alright and Almost got it out. There we go. And we thankfully don't lose it. Take his arm piece, arm guard piece. Push that through. Line it up. And then just screw it back in. There we go. It's nice and snug. Can still move out of the way. But it covers up that little gap he has there. So there we go. That is his arm guards done. Uh, it's a little sticks out a little bit on this side, a mm, little bit on that side too. But what can you do? All right. So the next piece will be Grimlock's chest piece here. This is going to be very difficult to do. So basically I'm going to have to try and hold him like this while also screwing, while also uh, and we need to go this way. Okay, you might not be able to see this part completely. There we go. 
Okay, at least I got it started. And now we take out. All right, I'll leave that there for a second. Let's get this one. Uh, hopefully, I have no idea what time this is, but again, I am doing this before work. Hopefully, this doesn't take forever. Otherwise, I'm going to be late. Uh, so there we go. That is the two screws out. We should be able to just unpeg his existing chest piece. So there is his naked chest. And you could do this because this is actually more accurate. This is actually more accurate to the cartoon for him to not have any kind of chest piece. But we are going to go with the clear here. And apparently you don't have to do the screws. It just uh, friction fits. Maybe we should try and get these both in at the same time and on camera. And then there we go. So that should be... That is in all the way, I think. And then that's it. Just save those screws for later, I guess. But there we go. That is Grimlock with his new chest piece and arm guards and all that stuff. The final piece, if I take this and move that stuff out of the way there. Uh, the final piece, where did they go? Oh, they're right here. Okay. That's good. I thought I lost them for a second. <clears throat> so the final piece is we need to... It's a good way to do this. We need to get his dino head open. And once again, I'm going to try and loosen that. Let's try... This might be a smaller screw. Let's try this one. Yeah, I think this one fits better. So we'll have to unscrew his dino head and I'm not sure if you saw that but there is one screw and then it'll unscrew his no oh okay I am going to hold him a little more firmly than just by his waist all right, so Grimlock, we can get get this screw booger out of your nose. Can we get this out? Come on, should we try the bigger one? Okay, there we go. The bigger one seems to be working. All right, just. I don't know how much of that was in shot or not. Come on. There we go. Okay. All right. And let me, I'm going to move this one way over here. So I know that is the one for the nose and not the other one. Hopefully, hopefully I don't mess, mess them up. All right. So let me just get you like on all fours here or something while I try and Pry your head open. All right, so should be able to just take the one side of your face off. And so this piece, where is it? Right here. This piece just fits over the dino teeth like that. You can open up your jaw there. So that fits over that. Just like that. And then you take this glue dot. I'll have to move you back a little bit so I can get my arm in between there. Take this little glue dot. Where did it go? Where did it go? Okay, it's on the plastic. It's hard to see through the camera lens. We take this little glue dot and I'm going to see if I can just apply it from here. Just stick it on. There. See, can we reposition this? Hopefully. Nope. Should have done this more carefully. All 
All right, so we're gonna just jam this in there and hope it works. So just kind of sticks in there, and that should hopefully just stay in there. And then all we can do is replace his headpiece. It'll go back on, hopefully. There we go. His jaw still works. Yep. Okay. So now I take this screw and we line up our screwdriver. And we just screw them back together. There we go. And the other screw. This one will work, hopefully. Let me grab the other smaller screwdriver. There we go. Okay, don't lose the screw. Let me, let's just drop, try and drop it in. There we go. And we just screw this one in. And again, I should probably be holding his head while I do this. All right. I think we're all together here. Okay. I think, yeah, I need to hold this one a little tighter. There we go. Now it stopped. Okay. So there we go. That is, as you can see, Grimlock with teeth. He has his front teeth here, which are a little droopy, and they <laughs> they are kind of set back a little bit and uh, don't quite color match. Maybe I'll paint them all silver or something. That Maybe that'll help. But yeah, there we go. That is Grimlock with his teeth. He's all upgraded. <clears throat> I think that is everything. And so yeah, there we go. That is Grimlock with the non-F upgrades. And if we just, just arrange them here nicely, we can give them, oh yeah, let's give them both swords. Cause that, that was the whole point of this video is to give them both swords. Uh, let's put it, so the hilt thing is on the right side. I think, where's the, there we go. Almost lost the other sword here. There we go, that one went in easier that time. And of course, let's give him the final finishing touch. We'll give him his crown. You guys can barely see any, any of that. But there we go. That is Grimlock, Studio Series Grimlock with non-F Productions uh, upgrades. To two swords, new chest piece. I did not buy the other chest piece because why would I need two chest pieces? Uh, but yeah, there he is. That is everything other than his old, other than his old gun here. But yeah, that is everything. I guess we can peg, peg the gun in like that or something if we wanted to. But yeah, before I keep going on, because this is probably going to be a long video. Uh, that is it for now. So let me know if you guys want me to do more of these uh, upgrade kit videos, because I do have. I do have this little box of a bunch of other upgrade kit stuff. So let me know if you guys want me to see, want to see me do that stuff. But for now, thank you guys for watching. That is all. And uh, yeah, like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. See you next time.